I can't see the foot. Cause woo, baby, these dogs is barking. How you stepping, me? How you stepping, me? Okay. Hey you. Ooh. Hey YouTube. Hey YouTube. It's your girl. Let me get comfy. Mm. Okay. Scratch that. You help me out here. I don't know what to say. Why are you acting like that? Breath is killer. Say hey YouTube. Say hey YouTube. Hey. Ooh. Anyway, hey YouTube, it's your girl Mike Chanel, and I'm back with another YouTube video. <laughs> Listen, I'm just a mess. I'm a big ball of eco styler and emotions, okay? I am. I'm drained. I am. Listen, y'all, the year has just started. It is now 2021. Nigga, we made it. I hope you guys are blessed and doing amazing. Um, I hope so far this year has been really good to you guys. We are in the 20th of January. I feel like I've just been this past. Yeah, I feel like I've just been in a funk this whole month, pretty much. Mm, how do I explain? Like, I just feel like the new year has given me so much anxiety. I feel like that happens every beginning of the year. You know, you just have so much hope and, and desire for things to go your way. You want so much, you plan for so much, and I think I kind of just overwhelmed myself. And that's the problem, and that's what I was talking about in my goals video, just about keeping the intentions pure, not about, you know, surpassing anybody or, or get, you know, as long as you're in your own lane, you're gonna accomplish everything you need to at your own pace. When you're, when you're in your own lane, you're not worried about what other people are doing. And I just feel like I came into this year with the mindset like, I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and that, and I'm gonna build this, and I'm gonna have this, and I'm still going to do that. I feel like I just overwhelmed myself and got really discouraged when everything didn't happen as soon as the damn ball dropped. And that's my problem. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm an overachiever. I just decided to pull myself out of this funk. I feel like what best works for me is just taking care of myself physically. It's okay to just sit here. It's okay to just sit in this moment, sit in this feeling, understand why you're feeling this. And if that moment of motivation or that burst of motivation comes or that moment where you want to get up and clean or want to get up and do what you had planned to do, then continue and do that. It's okay to just relax, okay? It goes into something so much deeper. I'm not saying that you're going to put on a face mask and instantly feel better internally. I do know that's something that does help. I love doing skincare. I love just feeling refreshed. So I feel like this is my time to sit back, relax, reset, unwind. I just need some extra attention to myself, not from anybody else. I do look like a boy right now. My hair look a little crazy. I haven't washed my hair in a while. I need to do a face mask. My skin's kind of breaking out a little bit. Oh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I hope you guys relax with me. Sit back, get your snacks, popcorn, face mask. Wash that hair, girl. Put that shower cap on. Let's relax. Get your bathrobe. And let's just, just share some feelings. From a sister to another sister. Or a mister. I don't discriminate. Alright, y'all. Damn. That light bright as well. But, okay. I'm gonna put on my... My... My bow headband. My best friend got me this on Christmas. I don't really know what she was trying to do because, girl, I don't have... I don't even really have hair to keep out of my face. So, she was trying to be funny. I mean, she has one too, but, girl... You are white. Of course, you can push some shit back. Like, girl, push back what? Hair out of my face where? She was trying to be funny. But it's cute. I like it. If I actually had hair, like, I would use this every day. But, like, girl, ain't nothing in my way. <laughs> like, I could wash my face freely. Perfectly fine. But I'm gonna still use it, though. It's low-key messy, and I don't want to do it. But we gotta feel good on the inside. So if that's making us less unattractive on the outside, then so be it. 
that's what's gonna help us get through it and not want to sit in the bed all day long then show be it okay. wait hold on I don't want to be that girl like I'm not trying to hide my face mask from y'all I'm just like why promote if they're not gonna cut you a check but y'all my friends so I use the asset clay mask Girl, be careful because one time I accidentally got it in my eyebrows and ripped them straight off. I had like a little patch. My eyebrow gone. So, isn't that fun? Alright. I was honestly going to get a brush, like put this in a mixing bowl and do all that. But like, this, it just wouldn't be, it wouldn't be true to who I really am. And I don't like when it's a heck of a thick consistency on my face. basically i just wrote down some things because like i was telling you guys it's 15 days i'm going to be the big 2-0 on a mad hoe per you know what i'm saying and basically i'm going to be giving advice to my younger self it has been a long journey i don't even know how how much I have been through, I have overcame, I have seen, I have conquered, I've grown so, so much over the course of time. Even from just 17 to where I'm at right now, it's actually crazy to think about. If I knew half of the stuff that I know now, I don't know how much easier my life probably could have been. Also, I'm not even saying that it could have been better. I wouldn't change a thing. I feel like every single thing in my life, every obstacle, every test, every moment is, you know, to get me to where I need to be. But, <sighs> I will say that if I was on YouTube a couple years ago and I came across a video like this, because I didn't have any siblings, I didn't have any, like, obviously I had my mother. My mother is a big influence and I'm not discrediting her at all. Some people rather talk to their friends rather talk to an older sister it's just easier to talk to or learn about stuff from other people than your parents most people don't want to hear nothing from their parents and, and i was one of those people even though my mom gave me nothing but, but like what is the word i wanted to say eloquent but i don't think that's it eloquent fluent or yeah that wasn't it um she gave me the most pristine advice possible did i ever apply it to my life no that's why i was so bad but it's okay we live and we learn i wish there was somebody as cool as me around back in the day to you know just put stuff in a perspective just put everything out on the line for me and tell me what it is what it is and even if it's the same thing that my parents are saying sometimes just receiving the information or hearing it somewhere else from somebody else's perspective from somebody else's mouth it's different, okay? Don't ask me why. Us kids, we just think we know better. I don't know, whatever you wanna call it, okay? It's basic science. So, come with me to my bedroom and, and we'll talk some more, shall we? I wanted to talk about some of the... First, I just wanted to talk about some of the things that I wrote down for advice to my younger self. For one, this is a big one. Do not trust so easily. One thing, I was so naive. I used to think that everybody wanted to be my friend. And then I noticed that people also try to use that they feel like you're stuck up. They feel like you're bougie. They feel, No, no, no. They're entitled. They feel like they're entitled for you to owe them something. You don't owe anybody trust. Trust is earned, not given. Parents aren't always the bad guy. This is what I was talking about. It's really just science like, um, ooh, this is a good one. It's not your fault. That was the third thing. Boys are always going to be there. I used to be boy crazy. Like I wasn't out just like kissing and doing stuff with every single guy, but my focus always was just on boys. I don't know what it was. And I feel like that's also from, that's not an excuse. It's from not having a father and just that trauma that I haven't dealt with. That's not even here nor that's a whole different story, but um, talk to someone. Uh, even if it's not a therapist, even if it's just a friend, talk to somebody. Tell people how you're feeling. If you're mad, say that. And I feel like that's something that's really... 
held me back there was a word i wanted to say i be trying to be smart like sound like really knowledgeable and it just don't it don't be trying to come out but something that really hindered me it hindered me as an adult because i didn't deal with it as a kid yeah i don't know how to communicate my feelings that well and it's something that i need to work on because i'm too old so you're walking around mad and not saying nothing like, why would you rather walk around and be angry and feel that? Because anger is a physical feeling. You can feel anger. You can feel sadness. You can feel hurt, physical pain. It's an emotion as well. I don't know where I was going with that. Be yourself. That's a big one because I don't know who I wanted to be. Ooh, your outer appearance can be fixed, but what's inside cannot. That's self-explanatory love. What's inside here and what's inside here is the most important thing of them all. Um, oh, one thing that I wish somebody, some, somebody, and even I wish that my mom instilled it in me a little bit more, but I also feel like that wasn't instilled in her either. Um, just as black, actually, I'm not even gonna say that. Because I don't think it's my mom's fault. I feel like it's a generational problem. And I feel like... No, no, no. It's a problem for the black community as a whole. Not every single person is a part of this problem. But a lot of the black community perpetuates this situation. Am I even using the right words? I really feel like a scholar right now. But um, I feel like that's an issue that is just not talked about enough. Like, we do not uplift our young black women enough and make them feel like they're beautiful. We don't. Um, you're not weird if you don't fit in. You are if you do. And that's just a fact. It is a direct quote from the Bible. It's not exactly that, but basically the quote is, wait, hold on, now I wanna look it up. Enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life and only a few find it. And then the last one is comparison is a thief of joy. I feel like that's, everybody knows that. That's just that on that. But I hope this was interesting. And I hope this video or this advice helps somebody one day down the road. That'll make me happy. But right now I'm about to do this foot mask. I'm about to deep condition my hair y'all gonna come with me see that is that cool all right cool all right Ooh, y'all my hair looks Ooh, whoops Ooh. if y'all want like more tutorials or more hair stuff if y'all have any ideas please feel free to, to tell me i will do them okay y'all i got one of them open for me but I wanted to act like I was a big girl and open this one on camera. But you really just pull it open. Okay, hold on. I just didn't think anything was that simple. Hold on. Okay, y'all, y'all see the foot. Y'all can't see the foot. Hold on. Uh-uh. This ain't to be lit, boo. Y'all just gonna see me put the mask on because, woo, baby. These dogs is barking. I ain't, I ain't got them done yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on the birthday. You know? Like, I'm... Let, let me i'm cheap girl let me be let me do me okay so they they're definitely barking like no not even chipped polish like that's when you know it's bad no oh that's crazy what that's wild hold on what oh hold on my ponytail look crazy what <laughs> how you stepping bitch how you stepping me? How you stepping me? How you stepping? That's funny. How you stepping? <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye!